Hello, I'd like to take you on a short tour of the Moon's surface. We can all see the dark and light areas of the Moon from Earth, even without the telescope. These dark areas are known as mare or seas, and they were thought once to be made of water. Of course, we now know they are the result of lava flows caused by the impact of huge meteorites fracturing the Moon's surface. The fact that there are relatively few craters on the Murray surface tells us that these events happened quite late in the Moon's evolution and that few craters fell afterwards. There are of course some notable exceptions, for example Aristotle's shown here, or indeed Plato a little bit further to the north where the one edge of the crater is also broken down by the lava flow. And keeping with the Greek theme, Archimedes is shown in this bubble. In addition to these craters, there are great mountain ranges such as the Apennine. And this was a particular area of interest, especially when Apollo 15 landed in this area. Of course, it's far too small to see from Earth, even with the biggest and most powerful telescopes. Just to the south of the crater Plato, we see the Alps mountains. And looking at the surface of one of the seas, you can see a mountain rising from it. This is the Tenerife Mountains. Looking right to the top of the moon, we can just about make out Epigenes, the large crater. And then moving south, we see the Lake of Dreams, Sea of Tranquility and the Sea of Serenity before we carry on a little further south. We see a small crater sitting on top of a group of three. That's Herschel, followed by Ptolemus, Alphonsus and Arcsail. Then we see two interesting craters with craters inside them. The smaller of them is called Thebit, and the larger one, the crater's name escapes me, but the small crater inside that is called Hell. The really deep crater that you can see in this area is called Tycho, and when the moon is full and you see all the lines spreading out from one area, these are the ejected matter from the the, uh, the meteorite that caused the crater Tycho. So then we follow around the moon, you'll see that the features appear to get less. That's just a, f a fact that the sunlight is falling directly on them, so there's no shadows, so we can't see the features so well. In the east we see the sea all on its own. This is the Sea of Crisis, or Mare Carisium carry on further round, back to just about where we started. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Thanks for watching.